Hello and welcome to Guns and Gear. And I thought I'd make another video on summertime carry. And this will probably be my last one. I'm running out of uh, interesting things to show you and say. But you know, sometimes your wardrobe, it's appropriate that you have your shirt tail tucked in, okay? Like I have today. And with that, that presents uh, new issues on carrying a weapon concealed. So let's talk a little bit about that. You know, there's a lot of holster makers out there and they make inside the waistband holsters that allow you to tuck the, the uh, shirt around the weapon. And I, a lot of people uh, really like the, that mode of carry. I've tried that a couple of times myself, but it always seemed like in my daily activities, the shirt would come inevitably come untucked and I was always fiddling around with it and I didn't particularly care for it. Now, I don't really uh, uh, blame the design so much as maybe because I'm over 79 inches tall, a lot of my shirts don't have the length that I need to uh, take advantage of that mode of carry. But let's talk about a couple of things I am able to do. One is this shirt. This is a 511 Covert Casual, I think, shirt. Uh, and uh, it's really designed for people who carry weapons, okay? Uh, especially concealed weapons. It has a lot of features. We'll talk about some of those right now. It has like a lining inside of the shirt, okay? And that really aids in preventing the printing of weapons. Okay, when you're wearing them on your side or, or otherwise, it really does uh, aid in, in the ability to, to hide that printing. Okay, it also has a little uh, pocket inside of the shirt that you could carry a small uh, firearm, kind of like a, a kel 380 maybe, or the uh, Ruger LCP. A small weapon like that, you could, uh, it would be very effective in carrying in that little pocket. Okay, the, uh, seam, uh, the tail of the shirt has a, a straight seam, so you can wear the shirt tucked or untucked. And on the sides, it has little Velcro uh, strips that if you are wearing a holster, you, know, you simply grab the shirt and it separates that Velcro, and it gives you pretty good access to your weapon. Uh, one of the features that I like the most, uh, though, is the fact that most of these buttons, well, they're not really buttons. They're just there for show. Okay, They're not really holding the shirt together it's held together with snaps, okay? And these snaps in this mode of carry really assist with what I'm doing. Now what you see up under here, this is another 511 product. This is their uh, holster shirt, okay? And that consists of two heavily uh, padded pouches that go along the side here that allow you to store a weapon or whatever you would like to. So with this uh, setup here, I basically I stick my hand in and as soon as I do, it unsnaps the shirt, and you can retrieve a weapon fairly quickly. Now, this weapon is the uh, Walther PPS, okay? And let's go ahead and show folks that, yes, it is empty, okay? And the Walther PPS uh, is my favorite little small handgun. Um, I, I just love the way this gun feels. I really love the way this gun shoots. Now, you know the design features with it, it comes with a couple of back straps here, okay? And I have the larger back strap on there. And even though this weapon is very thin, uh, because of the wider back strap here, I can get a good purchase on this weapon. Now, it came with two magazines. It came with this one here, which has uh, an extra round and a, an extra little finger groove there, and another one that fit rather flush, okay? I particularly like the one with the, uh, the extra finger groove. It really allows me to get a hold of this weapon well. And this weapon for me shoots extremely well, okay? And what I mean by that is uh, when I'm uh, practicing defensive shooting uh, or going through different drills that you may go through, I can really get back on target quickly for follow-up shots with this gun. Uh, I can actually shoot this gun as well as a Glock 19. And I really shouldn't be able to. Uh, it's, it's lighter and it's much thinner and it's got a shorter barrel. You would think that it would be really snappy, but it's not. Uh, Well-designed handgun, okay? Now, which also, because of the thinness, makes it extremely suited well for this mode of carry. And there's other, there's plenty of guns out there that would uh, suffice with that. Another gun that I originally was doing this with was the uh, car that I showed you the other day. At any rate, uh, you need to look at the different things. I know they make a uh, shoulder holster that's made out of material. Okay, It's made to be worn under a shirt. 
Um, it's a, a cloth, almost a, like a cotton canvas, okay? And that's, a, I have one of those, and that's an extremely uh, good method of carrying also. But I, I will say you need to wear an undershirt under that because that canvas gets all bunched up by the end of the day, and it'll, it'll rub you wrong on the, on the shoulders, okay? There's a lot of methods out there, and I suggest that you look at them. There's a lot of company that makes a lot of these products, the holster shirts and things, things of that nature. Take a look at that because, you know, uh, we're trying to be good stewards. We're trying to be good citizens. And so we need to follow the laws. You know, in some jurisdictions, just the mere fact that you're printing your firearm, you could lose your permit, okay? And we would hate to see that happen. So always know the laws and regulations in your, in your area and try to follow them the best you can. You know, we're not the dirt bags that they like to show on TV. We're average folks and we're trying to uh, do the right things and we've taken on a responsibility of not only protecting ourselves but protecting our loved ones. So with that, remember, shoot straight on the range and in life. Thank you.